Focus on menstrual glomaglosurgal gamosis. Focal segmental glomerulosis. Nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome? What's that? I am a legal nurse consultant for a pharmaceutical company. I do have a lot of medical background, however, I was not even a little bit prepared for everything that happened. I never heard of um, FSGS prior to it happening to me. I have a 17-year-old daughter and when I was diagnosed in 2012, I, the following spring she turned 16 and she and I and other family members went to Paris for her 16th birthday. And I think that was my happiest moment. On her 16th birthday we went to the Eiffel Tower and went out to dinner. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I will remember that for the rest of my life. I'm so, so glad that I did it. I'm, there's so many things that I now do that I would have just kept putting off so I have to say that there's some positive that comes out of every struggle that you go through. I was diagnosed approximately so maybe nine years now. It was just kind of weird because uh, I had life changes that happened uh, earlier in life and so when I saw blood in my urine I thought what the heck is going on? I had no idea what FSGS was at the time. He was diagnosed at age three and a half. And um, immediately we were shocked um, and confused because we had never heard of nephrotic syndrome. The first couple of years with Gavin's diagnosis, he responded really well to treatment just for medication. And um, eventually we learned that really the only way to help him and to improve his quality of life would be to put him on peritoneal dialysis, which he's been on now for 18 months. People think I'm courageous because I'm a fighter. My mom likes to cook. My dad likes models and he likes to like build stuff. He's like Bob the Builder, he can do anything. It's really been a challenge. Um, it's been a learning process for us as parents to um, accept the fact that, you know, more often than not, Gavin doesn't feel real well. Um, his quality of life really has improved since he started peritoneal dialysis at home. I think for an individual patient, whether you're a new diagnosis or one who've had the disease for a while, what I tell you today in 2014 as we're closing this year and looking forward is that there's hope. There's hope for you and for your health as you look to the future and that's really important. But I'd also say get involved. Be part of the solution because right now in this rare disease, we really need all hands on deck to be able to partner, to identify what's the problem, just better look like and then get us rapidly to the solution of best health outcomes for that individual patient.